In this one, we will look at how to separate the body of the application from the navbar so that if we modify anything on the navbar, it will be seen all across the entire application. So currently, our application is not designed to do that. If I need to change any link on my home page, it will be changed just on the home page. That single changes will have to be done multiple times, going through every single page on our application and doing that change which might be a lot of work if you have a lot of pages on your application. So let's see how that looks. Okay, so I want to add some link on this application because we have uh, add items. We also have another URL, which is the list items. Okay, so currently we don't have the links on our application. So first we want to add the links. So when I go to Sublime, I'm going to go to home.html and on the navbar, I'm going to add the list item right here. And the URL for the list item is slash list underscore items. Okay, I'm going to save it and then refresh the page. I'm going to go back to the home page. All right, you can see I have list item. So if I click it, it takes me to the list item. But on the list item page, I'll have to do exactly the same thing here. All right, so I'm going to go back to the home page and add the add items. So I'm going to copy this URL and replace this one. I'm going to change this to add items. Add items. Save it. All right, so we have the list items, we have add items. So now if I click on the add items, it takes me to the form where I can add items to the database, okay? If I want to go to the list items, I cannot find the link right up here, okay? So I'll have to go back to the home page and then go to the list page. So you can see I'm doing the changes on the home page doesn't reflect it on the other. So what I will do is to copy all this link so before that, I'm going to fix the home page first, remove the hash and put a four slash, save it and and then go to the home page to make sure that it's working fine. So if I click home, it takes me to the home page. So this link here is what I want to appear on all the pages. So currently, the way my application is set up is I'll have to um, copy this entire link from here all the way down and paste it in list items. and also in the add items paste it all right so now i can have all the links on the page if i click on the list items i have the home and add items as well i can go to add items the same links are appearing up let's say i want to change the fixed navbar to stock mgmt okay so i want to change this to stock mgmt And I want it to be linked to the home page if you click on the text. So if I refresh the application, all right, so I have stock MGMTs. And if I go to list items, I have the fixed navbar, okay? Add items as well, I have the fixed navbar. So I want these changes to be across all the pages. When I do it on one page, it should be replicated throughout the entire page. So imagine if you have 100 pages on this application, it's like I have to do this step 100 times. I have to go to each and every page and do the changes right there. So now to do this, I will have to separate this navbar from the body of all the pages and make the navbar stand alone so that we can have one navbar sitting across all the pages of the application. So when you do changes on the navbar, since it's the same navbar on all the pages on the entire application, you have the same changes everywhere on the application. So this is very simple. I have all the steps on the block. You just go to the stock MGMT project and then you have how to include navbar in Django. So the first step is to remove the navbar or to cut it out and save it as its own page. Then on the home page, replace wherever the navbar was with the include navbar.html. So as simple as that, we will be able to take care of this issue. Okay, so I'm going to go to Sublime, cut from nav all the way up to nav cut it 
save it and if I go to the application I refresh the navbar is gone okay so I'm gonna save the navbar on its own separate page okay so I'm gonna do a new file paste the content right here and then save it as navbar dot html okay so I'm gonna save it in the same template where you have the home add items and list items okay so I'm gonna save that then include the navbar with this line right here okay so I'm gonna go to the home page where I remove the navbar and paste this code right there okay so if I save it the navbar will appear on the home page okay so I'm gonna do the same thing on all the other pages right so I'm gonna go to add items remove the navbar replace it with the include tag save it and then do the same thing on list items all right so copy from nav to nav paste it and save it so now look at how simple that is if i go to home page i have the nav bar right there on the list items and also on the id items we have the nav bar across the entire page of our application so if i change this let's say i have stock mgmt version 2 so if I do that on the navbar version 2.0 save it refresh you can see we have that version 2.0 right there and if I go to home page the version 2.0 is there likewise in the list items okay so this is how simple it is to include the navbar on the entire site so if you're getting any value from this please consider subscribing so that you'll be notified anytime we post a video. And if you're enjoying the video, please click on the like button. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. See you in the next one.